So thanks to you, we've got evidence that the trade authority is behind the power drain being reported down here. I don't know if you ever dealt with the trade authority, but Zoe is intimidating. I have to go in there, but I really, really don't want to. You think you'd be willing to go with me? Just make sure this doesn't go badly? Thanks. That means a lot. I can do the talking, I think. Just be ready for, well, anything. Yes, but you know that because I've been in here three times. Yes, yes, of course you are. And was it you were accusing me of with absolutely no evidence? The power drain is coming from your building, Zoe. You and I both know it, and now I can prove it. I'm sorry. What? We traced the drain, checked the grid, it led us here. You, you can't talk your way out of this. I'm going to ask you to wait here a moment. I'll be right back. If you're here to make unfounded allegations, it seems you'll have to get in line. Okay, just be ready for anything. I don't know if she's going to come out of there with a gun or call in mercenaries or what. I don't want this to turn out violent if we can avoid it, okay? Okay, you're probably right. Just need to breathe. Reyes, I apologize for not taking this matter more seriously. I assure you, I will eagerly assist in getting to the bottom of this. No, you're not weaseling out of this. We got to the bottom of it. You are the bottom. I appreciate your enthusiasm for your work, but I do a little more research before casting aspersions. Someone has indeed been using this location through which to route electrical power, it is not the Trade Authority. I've had my suspicions for a while, and I've been keeping detailed notes, which I'm happy to share with you. For now, though, what do we do next? I... wait, what? Oh, for heaven's sake. I presume you've been assisting Miss Reyes in tracking down this little problem. Well, clearly there's more work to be done. Why don't you continue the work you've been doing with an assurance that the Trade Authority will compensate you for your time? I'll coordinate things here with Miss Reyes. With Mast's access to the grid, we'll find out who did this soon enough. And why. Presumably, you're the one who's been doing the field work, so... I believe you'll find there's another junction box out there in the well that needs your attention. Okay, well, this is not how I saw this going. For the moment, let's assume this is all legitimate. 
I can sort out the details with Zoe. So why don't you go investigate the next junction box? You don't. They never hire a man. Side. I'll pull the 
diagrams we'll need and contact you. Gay's place is like a second home. Problem is, I don't really have a first. What you see is what you get. Work's rough, A's rougher. But I like to think when things get bad, that's when people's kindness shines brightest. Even down here, <laughs> when the sun don't shine. Now, I came here like a lot of folks, looking for work. It's an ongoing search. Ones who've been here for a while, uh, they can't even sleep unless they got a turbine in their ear. Maybe someday I'll be the same. Nope, just, uh, make sure you wipe your feet. You track mud in, then someone's gotta sweep it out. Most days, that's me. Take it easy. collecting the necessary diagrams and blueprints to accurately assess the situation before she returns. I'm going to make you an offer. Whatever you find at the end of this path, you bring it to me first. I'll be certain that Mast gets what it needs, but I trade in valuable information. I suspect you're going to find some. I guarantee you the trade authority will pay well. Consider that as you head towards the residential district. We can't pinpoint the source yet, but it's somewhere over there.
United Colonies to the best of your abilities and to uphold the values of the Vanguard giving more to the world. Just move. You know you can't give Zoe anything, don't you? So you tracked it down. You've got something to show for it? Great. I'll get this back to Mass for analysis. I'm not stupid. I know Zoe probably made you an offer. I appreciate that you didn't take it. And I'm really glad we got to work together on this. Looks like maybe they did. Still want to claim you had nothing to do with this, Zoe? My dear, why in the world would I want to break the law? And Galbank, no less. I do quite enough business with them as it is. All right. Well, I'll have some people look over this. Maybe they'll be in touch. I very much doubt that. See you around. If there's something you need, no matter what it is, either I have it or I can get it. Have a nice day now. There's a lot of work that needs to be done in the web. Welcome to the House of Enlightenment. Perfect. It just so happens there's a task I need help with right now. Indeed. Sometimes it just works out that way. People with mutual interests seek each other out, and by working together, we achieve something greater than ourselves. As for the job, I need you to pick up a man named Tahir over at the Med Bay. He's recovering from some injuries and needs assistance getting back to his apartment. I'd like you to pick him up, grab a bite to eat, and take him home. Great, you'll find him over at the med bay. He's probably hungry, so after you pick him up, escort him over to Gaze. She should have a meal ready for him to take home. And thanks. got anything valuable on you, keep it close. <laughs> Never know what might happen down here. Yeah, well, newsflash, buddy. I don't like anything about you, either. In fact, I dislike you with such conviction that I'm inclined to fight you right now. What do you say we go ten rounds? Right here, right now. Yeah, uh, well, luckily for you, I actually hurt my hand when I was punching some other asshole's lights out. Uh, Doc says it'll take a few weeks or months to heal. Yeah, yeah, we'll take a rain check. But once my hand heals, you're done for. What do you want to know? You with security? It matters if you're talking to me, hotshot. I'm not some goody two-shoes. Actually, maybe I've said too much already. Never mind. I actually am a goody two-shoes, okay? Are you kidding? Take a look around. You're in the most boring place in the galaxy. 
Only good thing down here is Kay's house. Best cooking in the settled systems. And let me tell you, I know my food. But I can't even go there anymore because Kay banned me for bad behavior. Me! Can you believe that? What a load of crap! Whatever. I don't need your help. I can walk home on my own. Suit yourself. If you get lost or end up in a cell, don't blame me. I tried to help. Is that your ship that landed not too long ago? Sure. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know where the socket nuts are? My apartment's in the same area. I got a bad case of the brain fog, and I, I can't seem to remember which way to go. Really? Is this some sort of scam? I'll have you know, I got no creds. Andy Singh. Well, if I'm gonna owe anyone, I'd rather it be the house than the UC. All right, you win. Seeing as I got no one else, might as well roll the dice with a stranger. So, go on, lead the way. to see you. Do you know why this place has stood for so long? I make sure everyone's comfy. I tell it like it is, and I don't take any shit. I've got it right here. Is this for you to hear? Well, I don't have any credits, so... Then you're good. I already talked to Andy, and this one's on the house. Thanks, Kay. You're welcome, kid. It's just good to see you alive and well. You know, there was a time when you'd be in here every night. Things change, Kay. I know. Believe me, I know. And I get it's hard to come out here, but just... Uh, don't be a stranger, okay? I'm sorry. I, I, I'll try not to. Good. I'm glad we got that sorted. Here's the soup. Be careful, it's a little hot. Sweet home. <laughs> At the end of the day, home is home, even if it's a bad one. But thanks for the help. I, I probably would have found it on my own, but it would have been a chore. Oh, right, the, the soup from Kay's. Man, it's been a long time since I had a warm meal. You might say that. Before I got hurt, I used to stop by Kay's every night for a soup and a sandwich. It didn't matter how bad my day was or how empty my pockets were. As long as I had my food and my beer, I'd be good. All that weight would just wash away. And to be honest, I haven't felt that feeling in ages. Until now. So, you doing this for me, it means a lot. Thanks. Thanks. I, I didn't know what to make of you at first. Not often you can trust a stranger down here. Well, glad I did.
Personally, I think daylight's overrated. I get by just fine. Look around, you tell me. You see is a big organization. A lot of planets, a lot of people, a whole lot to keep track of. Sometimes they don't do such a good job of that. Sometimes stuff falls through the cracks, winds up collecting dust in some warehouse. But that's all right, because I, and by extension you, get to benefit. I make great deals on stuff in bulk, you get some low prices. Everyone wins. Hey, take it easy. Healing in art is uh, more exciting than one would think. Hey, we were running it takes a strong mind and a good eye to sell art. Really? Indeed, I am. I've been an art dealer for most of my life, plying my trade all across the settled systems. It's actually why I'm here in New Atlantis today. I'll be delivering a piece of art to a very particular client later. However, I don't yet have the art in my possession. Actually, would you like to pick up the artwork and bring it back to me? I'll reward you for your effort, of course. Excellent. You'll be picking up the art from Zoe Kaminsky at the Trade Authority. Tell her you're there for Samson Jabrail's art. She'll understand. Return the artwork to me, and you will be compensated. Well, of course they do. Why wouldn't they? I've heard tell that you can get some very impressive items at the Trade Authority. But for now, let's settle for the artwork that I've procured. In a sense, my trade doesn't necessarily need me to be tied down in one location. Because of that, I travel all over the settled systems. I'm here now for an opportunity, but before this, I was in Aquila. Before that, Neon. In my line of work, I can't afford to stay in one place for very long. Other than being an art dealer, there's not much to say. I grew up in Neon, and I knew I had to get out of that place somehow. I did a few odd jobs, some deliveries, and it eventually led me onto this path I'm on now. I never thought I'd do what I do, but I suppose life can be surprising. Back to it then. I'm going to tell them how I feel. Something to report? Telling you, Bianchi, something's wrong with the boots you sold me. I wear them to the metro. Suddenly, the shuttle runs late. I buy a cup of coffee, and the barista screws up my order. It's like I'm walking under ladders with a broken mirror in my pocket. And the only time it happens is when I'm wearing your boots. So, what do you want me to do about it? I want a damn refund! Fine, fine. I'll take the boots back. Just don't tell anyone you bought them from here. Signed up for a test pilot program just the other day. You think Deimos Staryards would hire me? <laughs> what am I... Later. You ask me? The real New Atlantis is down here. Ugh, right. The boots. I hate to admit it, but she has a point. She's the third customer to return the pair. All for the same reason. The boots might really be cursed. I don't doubt it. Either way, it's bad for business. Hey, you're a pilot, right? Maybe you can do me a favor. 
I've heard of a UC station at the far end of the galaxy called the Den. You go there and stash these boots in a crate, and I'll give you credits as a compensation. Finally, someone to give these blasted boots the boot, if you pardon the expression. Here, I'll have your credits for you when the job is done. Welcome to the Trade Authority. If you're here on legitimate business, I would be more than happy to help you. If, however, you are here under false pretense, say, sent by one Miss Tsang of UC Distribution, then I'm afraid you'll find nothing illegitimate here to report to her. And I'd ask that you pass along my request to stop these silly games. So, what'll it be? Perhaps. But I'm quite confident in my business, and I refuse to be intimidated. Please, let me know if I can assist you further. Ah, yes, I've been expecting you. Here's your package. And don't worry, I've already corrected the ownership record for you. Nothing. Nothing at all. Thanks for your business. Well, that depends. If you have a ship and are willing to haul cargo, then we've got some work. Otherwise, you're gonna have to be more specific. We frequently post cargo running jobs up on the mission boards around town. Check them out. I've heard our jobs pay well, and on the off chance that's not what you're looking for, well, I can't really help you then. The Trade Authority appreciates your visit. Art. If you are in the market for art, shh! Are you crazy? Keep your damn voice down. Yes, yes. Just hand it over. You've held up your end of the bargain. I am not trying to Our transaction is complete, really so I'll be on my way. Take care, and let's not talk about this again. Really? Wasn't that included in the transfer from last week? Goodbye. Uh, no, that was for handling the ship. Not deliveries. Oh, okay. I'll try and remember. I swear, lately I feel like I'm spending more time at Galbank than I am here. If you don't see what you want, feel free to ask. I am busy right now. Can you eat something? Hi there! Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. Thanks. It's hard work, but it all pays off in the end. And I can't take all the credit. Gerhardt, my business partner, he does so much of the work behind the scenes. If it weren't for him, I don't know where we'd be now. Appreciate the business.
Huh. Well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I hadn't expected to run into you again. Indeed I am. The success of my previous venture, with which you so kindly assisted, has been brought to the attention of Mast. There is growing concern. Oh my. A bit of an unintentional pun, isn't that? Well, concern that things are going to get worse. The data we gathered points to a definitive trend. The vibrations coming from this tree are increasing in strength and frequency. Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. We don't know when or even if this will stop. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time. While I hesitate to speculate on the possibilities, well, none of them are good. I am attempting to formulate one, yes. But until I have all of the relevant information, it is impossible to do so. There is data regarding other, younger members of the species. Unfortunately, there are some, shall we say, personal issues with acquiring it. <clears throat> per per personnel issues, if you understand me. Not necessarily, but if you're offering your services, you've certainly proven to be reliable help in the past. One of the other researchers in MAST, Emilio Hadek, has research I believe could be vital to my work here. He and I don't see eye to eye, and so far he's refused to turn it over to me. I'm hoping that if someone else were to ask, he might be more inclined to relinquish it. What do you say? Oh, thank you. At last I knew he was on a field assignment somewhere near the outskirts of the city. Uh, perhaps it's best if you don't mention my name in the process? Working at the distribution center can be tiring, but it sure is rewarding. Oh no, when I was growing up, I actually wanted to be a miner on Sidonia. As weird as that may sound, I guess I never wanted to have a typical job. Lucky for me, working at the distribution center is anything but typical. Of course, who wouldn't? It's such a privilege to be able to work for the UC government, a true force of good. Every day is so exciting. I get to meet so many new people, solve interesting problems, and learn about developing situations throughout the settled systems. Yep, there's never a boring day at the distribution center. Take it easy. Could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. <laughs> what? You've got to be kidding me. Is he seriously that desperate? No. No way. Kelton is actively ruining my career. There's no chance that I'm helping him with anything. Whatever this thing is he's on about, he's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher-ups. I'm not helping him with that. Right. Of course, we're all in danger. Trees are involved, after all. Uh, he really won't let this go, will he? Hmm. Maybe I can make this work in my favor. Okay, you know what? I'll hand over the data. But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a better position in MAST. Wait, really? Wow. Okay. Okay! I've gotten a few bad performance evaluations in the last couple of years. Totally unjustified, incredibly unfair. I found a backdoor into the mass network so I could make some changes to my personnel file. But it turns out the chief engineer knows what she's doing. The only way to get access is from the terminal in her apartment, which is kind of... locked. <laughs> Sorry, that's not on the table.
I just want to make a name for myself, you know? I'm sure you can understand. Okay, look, look. Just hear me out, all right? I really need this to happen. If you do this for me, I can make it worth your while. You delete that data, I get promoted, I'm pulling in a bigger salary. I can compensate you. I'll throw in some extra credits for you, okay? A nice little bonus. But first, you need to get into the chief engineer's apartment. Fine, fine, you win. Just get out of my sight. And tell Kelton to stuff it. Hope you have the data. It's really quite crucial. That he is. I'm sorry that you had to put up with him, but this data is vital. I'm sorry if this was complicated. I'd prefer to remain unaware of the details in the event that it comes up later, particularly in a legal setting. And I suppose I'd better verify the data to make sure Emilio didn't double-cross me. But you have once again come through for me. I'm truly hoping that this is the last piece I need to figure out what we can do. And I appreciate it. Thank you for your assistance. we got here? Another applicant to the UC Vanguard? Interested in doing some good for the people of the United Colonies, all while earning your citizenship and credits to boot? Glad to hear it. Signing up simple. All you've got to do is pass a flight exam and make it through one probationary mission and you're in. We'll have you working your way to UC citizenship in no time. Well, all right. Take the elevator down to the Vanguard Orientation Hall. You can get started at any of the registration terminals. The system will walk you through the rest. And if you've got any questions, I'm happy to answer them.
This is the Mark 18 flight simulation chamber applicant, currently in orbit around a high detail recreation of a remote world. Your exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. to Commander Tuwala to receive your final results and your probationary assignment. Or your... Welcome to take another run. Well, 
Goku's back. Everything go all right with the exam? Or did you have some... Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? Then let's get to them. So, looking at the data... Hit every mural in the orientation hall, huh? A test of preparation and thoroughness. Two traits the Vanguard values highly. Psychological results are all within expected levels. Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Now, how'd you do against your foes? Tier 4, not too shabby. The techs make us test each level of the Sim too. I can tell you that wave are some real artificial bastards. Good job putting them away. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only... 10 years service. Pretty standard for combat assignments. But your performance in the simulator does mean I can offer a signing bonus. Help convince you to join the cause. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. First though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? Fantastic. Then just follow me. Wouldn't be right doing this where we couldn't see the skies. Now, raise your right hand. The motto of the Vanguard is Supra et Ultra, above and beyond. That is where we serve, beyond the furthest reaches of the United Colonies military, and with honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities? And to uphold the values of the Vanguard Honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy? Then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. And what I've got is comms repair. Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plan on Tau Ceti 2. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died place is as isolated as they come, so Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau Ceti 2 count on you? That's the spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. Oh, and your advance. Give it your all out there. Supra et Ultra.
completely different. How can I help you be the best you possible? Hi, welcome to Enhance. Thanks so much for stopping in today. I'm sure my staff and I can accommodate your every need. If you're here to try something new or on a whim, or to replicate a look you've seen and loved elsewhere, or just want to love your reflection in the mirror a little bit more, we've got you covered. All our services and records are private and confidential, so no need to worry. Oh my god, you certainly put things bluntly, don't you? I did. Uh, no, I, I do. I, I, I take it all very seriously. <sighs> Sorry, you, you, you just took me a little off guard. To tell you the truth, I made a bit of a slip-up. I may have lost a data slate containing the confidential information of numerous patients. Little things, you know, like payment, information, procedures done, age, birthdays, mailing addresses. Oh no, who am I kidding? This is so bad. If that information gets out, my business and reputation could be destroyed. No patient will trust me again. It's not. People's private information is at stake, ready to be taken by any bad actor that finds that damn slate. And worse, my reputation and business is on the line. Please. I'm begging you. You have to find that slate. Yes. Thank you. And let's see, I, I frequent the Terra Brew nearby, as well as Whetstone. I also stopped by the Valberg building recently. Thank you for doing this. You're a lifesaver. Please, come back as soon as you have the slate. Oh, and don't read anything on it. It's confidential stuff, remember? If you'd ever like to make a change, we're up to the task. it for leeches, get it fixed up, and let us know we'll have it ready as soon as we can. Ah, you are new probationary then? Crew Chief Herat, pleasure to be working with you. It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all the essentials in case of any surprises up there. My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of scenic Tau City 2. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Any questions before you head out? Nothing too dangerous, if that's your concern. The repair suite's mostly just wiring and circuit boards. The welcome kit has some goodies in there I wouldn't leave sitting around when company comes to visit. But it's nothing some proper storage can't make safe. I honestly didn't realize it had people living on it until we got your record. 
Report they gave us seemed clean, no known hostile outposts, but I wouldn't say that's permission to let your guard down. Just watch out for wildlife and pirates. Keep those med packs handy and you'll be fine. Enhance is here for you. You found it. Oh my god, thank you so much. I, I don't know what to say. You have helped a humble businessman. You, you saved me and my business. I'm so grateful for that. Thank you so much. And, oh, I, I hope this hasn't tainted your perception of my wonderful facility. If you need any work done, I'll always be here. Come back any time. someone insults you, you want to just beat the shit out of them sometimes, uh, but you don't. <laughs> well, not quite what I was thinking, but that's actually a great example, Marcus. The man in the story was cruel. Do you know why he was cruel? You must feel what he feels, understand his pain, accept it, and deliver it not back upon him. Empathy. You mean empathy. <laughs> but you say it like it's easy. Like anyone can just love a terrible person who has been terrible to them. Yeah, why even bother? I mean, isn't the cycle of humanity peace and war back and forth like forever? Seems kind of pointless to try so hard for something that won't last. Nothing ever really changes. It's not easy, no. But necessary, because you see, everything has changed. God has given us the intelligence, the ingenuity to reach into the stars, to travel his path, to truly find him. But we can't do it alone. The only way is through unity. Ah, yes, Andreas, yes, unity. Well, I'm sure you all have other things to do. Thank you for taking the time to stop and talk with me. Is there anything I can help with? Uh, oh, hi there. I'm Marcus Lestari. Uh, are you interested in the Sanctum Universum? 
glad to hear it. It's an exciting time for the church. Uh, we're growing every day, and we've been getting more interested visitors lately too. Actually, we've had a few visitors come by recently, but uh, they have yet to come visit us again. This strikes me as a good opportunity. I'm wondering, uh, would you like to go check in with those visitors and welcome them back to our church? Maybe all they need is just another invitation. <laughs> and don't worry, I'll pay for your effort, of course. Excellent. Uh, their names were Tony, Evie, and Johan. When you check in with them, give them one of these slates. It's just a little something welcoming them back if they're interested. If you want, take some time to talk with them, um, get to know them and why they were interested in the Sanctum Universum. In any case, when you're done, come back to me and I'll give you your payment. Yes, what? What do you want? I'm very busy. What? Let me see. Oh, yeah. I went to the Sanctum Universum a while back. I haven't checked it out again, though. I'm not sure. The truth is that I want to believe in it all. The Sanctum Universum believes that God gave us the ability to grab Jump so that we can search for him and find him. If that's true, maybe I can find my dad as well. I lost him when I was just a little girl. I can barely remember him. I don't need a lecture from you. Listen, I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'll go back if I want to. I'm on tax duty tomorrow. Can't wait. Really? Nice. I went there a while back. Good to see they still remember me. Gotta say that it's nice. You know, having people think about you? Because of my job, I don't really have too much free time to socialize or make friends. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my job. It's the best job in New Atlantis. But still, it can be hard to put myself out there sometimes. That's actually one of the reasons I went to the Sanctum Universum. Just to talk with people and get to know them. It was nice. It really was. Yeah, I think I will. But hey, let me ask you something. Do you believe in all this Sanctum Universum stuff? What do you think? Nothing wrong with that. I'm not sure if I'll believe any of it either, but what the hell, right? Well, hey, I'll let you get back to it. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. Keep on keeping on. an afternoon off. If you ask me, it's always a good time for a terror brew. Oh, thank you, I, I guess. An invitation, huh? Yeah, I checked out the church a few weeks ago, but I haven't gone back yet. I don't know. 
I don't want to disappoint anyone in case I stop going. The church was interesting, but how can anyone know for certain that it's all real? Doesn't that bother anyone else? I guess that's probably why I never went back. There's no certainty. Maybe. I guess it couldn't hurt to visit again and talk with the others. I wonder if any of them felt how I do now when they started going to the church. But anyways, I have to get going. Thanks for talking with me and, uh, for taking the time to deliver this. Take care. This has been helping me work through some uh, anger issues. Great. Uh, how'd it go? Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Sometimes people just need a little reminder that they're always welcome here. Here, your payments as promised. Thank you for taking the time to do this. And I hope to see you around the church too. <laughs> 